You know what time it is. Welcome back to Travel by Turtles. All right, so we've been spending some time lately near the Mediterranean, traveling to Morocco, Spain, and Portugal in our last few videos. Today, we're flying in the opposite direction, across the North Pacific Ocean, to the world's sixth largest country, the beautiful land of Australia. Now, once we zoom in, specifically, we'll be visiting the state of Queensland, second largest in the country with the third most populous. And zoom in even further once more, and we'll be touching down in the city of the Gold Coast. Southeast Queensland, Australia is home to a metropolitan wonder, just south of Brisbane, which did provide its original name, the South Coast. Very original. But around the 1950s, overinflated prices of real estate and other goods led to the creation of the nickname, whether respected or not, of the Gold Coast. Long sandy beaches with great surf, theme park rides and attractions, fantastic nightlife, and year-round awesome weather. The Gold Coast is considered one of the best cities to live in for families looking to get the most out of their neighborhood. Let's just say I've got five great places you just gotta check out when you swing through. And take me with you when you do. But right before we pack that carry-on, if you like what we got going on here at Travel by Turtles, do us a huge favor and hit the like button. Share the video with any family members you know that just need to get away. And subscribe if you like so you can check out all our other trips and future ones easily. Now let's throw this shrimp on the barbie. Number 1. My favorite every time, the beach. The Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the country. So spending a day or two or three playing the beach bum is pretty much a given on any trip here. Surfer's Paradise. Yeah, that's literally what it's called is known for its high-rise skyline and three kilometers long strip of golden brown sand. The picture-perfect spot for swimmers, joggers, and of course the surfers. Ten minutes south of Surfer's Paradise is Broad Beach, a smaller relaxed atmosphere with stylish shopping centers, beachfront arts, and local markets, all centered around Karawa Beach. And just south of Broad Beach is Burley Heads a smaller but well-populated town with another brilliant beach and a classy dining scene. Number 2. The Theme Parks The Gold Coast is jam-packed with some of the best theme parks and the coolest attractions. Out of the gate, we have to mention Dreamworld, Australia's largest theme park, with over 40 rides and attractions, including The Claw, The Gold Coaster, The Sky Voyager, and The Steel Taipan. You may need an extra pair of shorts for a few of these. In addition to the theme park rides for the family, Dreamworld is also a wildlife conservation park and the largest zoological contributor to tiger conservation worldwide. There's also the Warner Brothers Movie World, a theme park with thrill rides and family attractions centered around all things WB, including the Looney Tunes and DC Universes. And of course, there's the classic SeaWorld. The Marine Mammal Park, where you can get up close and personal with dolphins, penguins, polar bears and more at the Oceanarium of the Gold Coast. Number 3. Take a Hike If you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the tourist spots and become one with nature, there are several worthwhile hiking trails to aid in your journey. Spectacular waterfalls, lush rainforest, beautiful views and exceptional ecological importance make Springbrook an outstanding visit, as stated by the Department of Environment and Science. About a two to three hour walk time, depending if you want to include the swimming hole down near the bottom of the trail. There's also Lamington National Park, renowned for its section of ancient Gondwana rainforests. You can check into O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, where you can pitch a tent old school, or make use of the lodge rooms and the famous treetop villas, complete with a private spa overlooking the mountain range. From here, they have guided walks, birds of prey tours, and four-wheel drive safaris available to experience. And to complete the day, take a much-deserved dip in the infinity pool and melt away in the Lost World Spa. Staying in the nature vibes, we have number four, a scenic drive. A prime location for sightseeing and fresh ocean breeze in your hair, the Gold Coast has a few scenic driving routes to soak up as much of the area as you can. And awesome enough, 
GoldCoastAustralia.com was kind enough to provide us with what they call the ultimate scenic routes of the Gold Coast. Aw, thanks y'all! It starts around 9am from Surfer's Paradise, and you'll pass by the marvelous main beach through Southport and Runaway Bay. Watch the boats cruise on by and the seagulls fly above them on a perfect sunny day. You'll then be in the area of Sanctuary Cove, a high-end golf course development, and boutique fashion village. You'll be soon passing Dreamworld on your way to Mount Tambourine, coming across various bushwalks and national parks along the route. You'll hit the Pacific Highway and head towards Springbrook, possibly slowing down to hug the road on the many sharp corners and hairpin turns. Or hit the pedal speed racer, but do it safely. And you'll be seeing all of this within the first two to three hours. The route continues on until about 6 p.m. local time, so you can truly get a day's worth of sights and sounds on one tank of gas by following these directions. Go ahead and visit goldcoastaustralia.com for more info. And now we're at the last on my list for cool things to do in the Gold Coast of Queensland, Australia. Be sure to let me know when I need to pack my bags and roll with ya. Number 5. My second favorite every time, the food. What's a trip even worth if you don't fall into at least a few food comas? The Gold Coast is absolutely not lacking in 5-star dining options and local hotspots for great cuisine. Some of the highest rated places are Al Fresco Italian Restaurant, known for its huge portions and dishes ranging from pasta, pizza, steaks, veal, chicken, and seafood. Moo Moo the Wine Bar, serving specialty steaks and fine wine in a cool modern environment. Le Café Gourmand, proclaimed as the best little French restaurant for dinner. Start off with an almond cream croissant, then for the main entree, try the French pie. Bacon, chicken, and mushroom cooked in a creamy sauce served in a flaky golden puff pastry. And you can finish off the meal with a vanilla slice, a vanilla and rum custard. Last eatery on the checklist is Willow Dining, specializing in Mediterranean bites and cocktails in a charming setting. From the decor and ambiance to the music and furniture, this is a local favorite among favorites. The Kalamata and Spanish olives, the toasted cheese bread, the onion rings with chili plum sauce. Your taste buds will thank you until the last bite is finished. And with that, we made it back home from the wild down under. Beautiful beach days to marvelous nature walks, local arts and music to high-end shopping and fine dining. The Gold Coast of Queensland, Australia has so much to offer you and the travel group coming with you. Or if you decide to roll out there solo, like the last video I gave tips on, plenty of attractions and experiences that are only a brisk walk or breezy drive away. Thank you so much for rocking with me today on Travel by Turtles, where I shared with you five of my favorite spots on the world famous Gold Coast. And if you're new to the channel, go check out my other travel guides on the Mediterranean, Hawaii, and the Caribbean islands. And if you end up finding what you're looking for around here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join a community of people who just need to know what the Earth's got going on out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.